Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how the lookup functions work. I'm going to have a go at a basic lookup, a VLOOKUP, and a HLOOKUP. So on the screen, I've got those three examples set up, and then on a separate sheet, I'll go through them one by one. So basically, in this cell A3, I have a data validation list where I can select an item, it tells me what it is, and it highlights it on the table below. So this is the intersection between the column and the row. That's what the basic lookup does. And quite often people just need to use the lookup function as opposed to the VLOOKUP. Doesn't matter if you do though. VLOOKUP function, drop the arrow down, select a code. It gives me both items this time, not just one item. So I've got the, what it is, seals and the cost, the VLOOKUP. HLOOKUP, so V stands for vertical, vertical. H stands for horizontal, horizontal, like that. So if I select a code, it gives me the information from the rows, and I've got it pulled up as well with data validation. So that's what I'm going to do, show you how that works. Come to sheet one, let's have a look. So first of all, data validation. I'll do it over here in a blank cell so you can see it. So each of these codes, I've got a drop down list, that's data validation. I'll get myself into this cell and color it up yellow so you can see where it is. That is on the data tab, the feature is called, called um, validity over there. And then you've got some options in this drop down list. I want a cell range, and then you have to select the range. So in this example, I'm going to select all of the codes. And you've got other options you can do at the top there. Um, like if somebody makes a mistake, you can get it to say something on the screen, but I'm just going to leave it like that. OK. And then you've got the drop down list. That's what I've done there. So when I select a code, this lookup function wants to tell me what that is. If I just widen this column a little bit at the top so you can see the titles on that one and that one. Right. So the lookup function is this equals lookup. Open the brackets. So I'm looking at that, A3, comma, it's in the list of codes, that's what it's asking me for, comma, and then I have to have a return column, which is this. So it'll bring back the intersection of these. If I close the bracket there, and then click the tick, you'll see how that works. So it's brought back washers. Now, I haven't got conditional formatting on there, but let's have a look at that. If I highlight this little table, so it highlights what it's brought back. I need to go back to home. I'm on home. Conditional formatting, manage rules, and add. So in this case, I want uh, not cell value is, formula is, and then it's this. I'm clicking on the top left hand cell. I need to take the dollar sign off the six. I don't want that locking, so I'm just deleting that dollar sign off the six, leaving it on the column A, equals the code in A3. You can leave the dollar signs on that, and then you select the format. So I'll go for green, good. And then I'll click OK to that, and then OK again. And that should highlight that row. So if I select a different row, it's always going to highlight the selected row, and that's how you do that. I'll do it again when I do the VLOOKUP one. So the VLOOKUP one, I'll do it without names first, and then I'll do it with names. So I want the description for that code to come here and the cost to go there. So I'll do it twice manually, so you get to go see how it works. So I'll go equals VLOOKUP. You're selecting what you want to look for, comma, but in this example, you're selecting a whole table comma and then you're telling the computer which column of that table do you want to come back which is column two in this example comma and then i want to do an exact match which is a zero or you can put false close the bracket on that one click the tick see if it works washers comes back washers that's right so i'll just do that one again for the column three i could pull that one across and just change the reference but i have to dollar sign that and i want to use names to show you the benefit of that so if i just do it again so it's going to be equals v look up open the brackets 
I'm still looking at that comma I need to look at this table this whole blue area comma but this time I want column three of that three and then comma zero close the brackets the tick and then you get the price so if I select something else ABC you get the price I'll do the conditional formatting again so highlighting all of that conditional formatting manage add selecting the formula option again formula and then the formula in this case is going to be if that top left hand cell with the dollar sign off the six delete that off so you don't want to lock that equals the code in e3 that's good so that'll be green good okay to that okay again and then that highlights that one as before whichever you select it highlights now what i want to show you also is a quicker way of doing that slightly quicker way of doing that by using names so i'm clicking into this code box i'm going to call that code so this top up here is a name box i'm typing code pressing enter so that's now called code and this table i'm going to call product clicking in there product you must press enter so now I can do these again if I just delete these two off. So it's going to be equals V lookup. This time I can type the word code. It knows what code is. Comma. That's a, a code is E3. Product is the table name. Product. So you type product. Comma. Still need to put a two for the column. And comma zero as well Let's see what happens here still works and i can pull that across i don't need to worry about dollar signs but what i do need to do is click back on that and change the column reference from a two to a three and i'll probably have to make that back into money as well so that's using names now hlookup is horizontal lookup looks exactly the same i'll in terms of structure anyhow syntax if i type it out equals h lookup i'm looking at that comma i'm looking at this little blue table comma now not column two i want i want row two so a b h a b h this one so it's row two that's row one that's row two that's row three so it's going to be two comma zero still and then exact match close the bracket so it comes up with seals so i'll do that one again so it's going to be equals h lookup and again you can use names if you wish clicking on a code comma highlighting the table i always use names normally but i don't like double signs to be honest comma three this is row three you want comma zero close the bracket click the tick you get that now the conditional formatting if you want to use that to, on a on this one slightly different if you're going to conditional formatting manage add and uh, still a formula option formula so this time it is if that top left hand cell and the dollar sign you need to take off here is not the last one it's the first dollar sign you need to get rid of it on the column j so delete the dollar sign so it's just the five that's locked equals and then you click in i3 in this example and then you select in the color so we'll go for the same one green okay 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 and then it does that if i select a different code it's always highlighting whatever you're selecting so what we're looking at here is Different examples of lookups, basic lookup, vertical lookup, V lookup, horizontal lookup, H lookup. We've also had a look of how to do a validation list. And we've also looked at how to do conditional formatting using the formula option. So hopefully this information is quite useful for you. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.